Welcome back to our second part of our series where we create mathematics activities within our Moodle course. This is the functions course and we've already created three activities based on the function concept in mathematics. So we'll continue now with adding more activities within this course. So let's click on turn editing on. and scroll down and click on add an activity or a resource. Once this window opens, click on interactive content, scroll down and choose what type of interactive content you want to add. And since we'll be adding an interactive video, let's click on interactive video. Now, once this loads, we can add a title We can scroll down and where it says add a video, we can click on the plus to either add a URL from YouTube or upload your own video. And since we will be uploading our own video, let's click on the upload video file. This will open up a folder where our video is stored. This will upload the video. Once your video is uploaded, you will see a blank canvas with your video format in the center. Now, next to upload and embed the video, click on Add Interaction, which is our second step. This will load the video that you've just uploaded. And now you need to play the video and add stop actions. You'll see here the menu on the top. What we are going to do is we'll be adding multiple choice questions where we want learners to provide their own answer. So what will happen is the video will stop at a certain time. A pop up will appear and the learner will be asked the question. And once they provide the correct answer, the video will continue playing. And this will allow the learners to interact with the video instead of sitting and watching the video by itself. So let's click on play. Okay, so I want to add an interaction here where I want learners to answer the question based on the input, the rule and the output value. So I'll stop the play at here and then click on multiple choice question. It opens up this window. Here it displays the time where it stopped. I need to click on pause video since I want the video to be paused and then allow the learner to answer the question. And then when the question is answered correctly, the video will continue playing. I'll choose poster. And then I provide a title for my question. I scroll down and this will be my question that I'm asking. Under media, I can also add either an image or a video file. Under the question, I'll ask them to provide the output value. Scroll down. Now I need to provide an option. So let's provide the correct answer. 63 is correct. And let's choose the tick box for correct. I can also provide tips and feedback on the correct answer. Let's type in well done. And I can also type in a message to display. Let's copy this and paste it here. And I can also type in a message when it's incorrect. Okay. 
Let's scroll down. Now we can add another option. Let's use 73. And this is not correct. And we can provide tips here as well. We can add a message to display. In both cases, we can add another option, but let, let's leave that as is. We can provide a scoring range and feedback. And let's click on behavioral settings. We can enable retry button or enable the solution button. Under question type, we leave it on automatic. And this we leave on default. Under adaptivity, we can choose whether learners can actually skip or go to a, c a certain time frame and we can allow them to skip the question altogether but we won't allow that let's leave everything as is and click on done and now the little pop-up block is displayed and we want it displayed here next to the answer so let's click on it and move it just there where the answer should appear now, once the player reaches this point in time, this pop-up will appear asking the question and the learner needs to provide an answer before the video continues playing. So let's test this. So let's click on play. And there you see the pop-up. The learner needs to provide an answer. And once he or she provides an answer, and if it's correct, the video will continue playing. Okay. You'll notice here on the timeline, you'll see there's a little circle indicating where the timeline will stop and a question will be asked. So let's add the value on the last one. 560 so let's add the value there okay so let's stop the play at here again a multiple choice question and now the question So let's copy this and paste it here. Okay, so this will be 560 and it's the correct answer. We can provide a tip. We can place it here as well. Scroll down the second one, it's five, make it 650. This is not correct. We can add tips, we can add another option, scoring range and feedback, the behavioral settings. Just remember that we need the video to stop and we need to add a poster. Okay, and that's all done. Let's scroll down and click on done. Okay, so there's our second option. Let's just increase the size there. Okay, so this is our first. You'll see there now. This is our first one. Let's just increase the size here. Okay, nice. So this will be our first question and this is our second question. Okay, let's stop there. We scroll down, we can change the behavioral settings here and also the text overrides or the translations here. Let's leave it as is and now we can choose a grade 
as well as activity completion and we want to show activity as completed when the students view this activity. Let's click on save and display and there we have our question. You'll see here on the timeline you'll see this little circles, two circles indicating two questions and two places on the uh, timeline where the video will stop and ask a question. So let's test this. Let's click on play. The video starts playing. Let's just just before the video. Okay. There the pop-up appears. Remember the video stops. Nothing um, continues here. We need to provide an answer. Let's click on 63 and check. There's our comment. Well done. And with a mark is added. Let's click on continue. And now the player continues. Okay, so let's move it closer to the question. There's our second pop-up. Provide the output value. Let's click on correct answer. Well done. Continue. And now we have two answered questions. Okay. So here we can have a little summary of this is our first question. We scored one out of one. And this is our second question. We scored one out of one. And now we can click on submit all answers. And this will add to our profile the scoring on this activity. So this is how we set up an interactive video within our course. So remember, we can add as many questions as we want to by adding multiple choice questions or short answer questions uh, to our video. And the video will stop at a certain time and the question will uh, pop up and the learner should uh, answer the question before the video can continue. So now we have our fourth activity that we've just created and this is called an interactive video. In our next lesson we'll continue adding activities within this course.